Hello. So we are now in session six, where we are concluding with uh, the determination of business, business activities. And uh, specifically now, we want to open the economy to international trade. My name is Elias. So let's build the model of uh, the open economy. So in an open economy, with the households, firms, government, and the foreign sector, our equilibrium income equation using the expenditure approach is uh, consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus export minus the import. Now, remember that this part here, we call this the net export, NX. So you may find that in other books, they have uh, used the uh, NX. This is just to say uh, net export, which is export minus the import. Okay, so where consumption is equal to autonomous consumption plus the marginal propensity to consume multiplied by the disposable income. So remember, this disposable income is equal to income minus the taxation. So I is autonomous, so I will be I prime. G is also autonomous, that's government expenditure. And then exports, uh, we are assuming export is also autonomous. And then the import has two parts. That is the import that does not depend on income, which is autonomous, and the income, uh, the imports that depend on the level of income. So you may find uh, different equations. In other equations, you will find maybe there's just autonomous import. In other equations, you find maybe there's just uh, the uh, proportion of uh, the income that is uh, channeled to the import multiplied by the uh, income itself, which is MY. So we call this the marginal propensity to import. Okay, so with that, then we define our, our YD. Our YD is equal to income minus the tax. Remember again also here that this tax can either be lump sum or it can be proportional tax or both lump sum and proportional tax. So if we define this tax to be a, a lump sum tax minus the proportional tax, then what we will have in our model is that Given this equation, we can substitute YD to income minus the tax, and we can also substitute all these with their respective autonomous values, and the import, we substitute it with uh, M prime plus MY. Given this, we can uh, uh, start by uh, putting, substituting what T is here. So we rewrite this equation, C prime plus B, uh, open bracket income minus now the tax here is equal to tax uh, autonomous tax or lump sum tax plus the tax that depends on income so this is the entire t here and then we rewrite these the way they are and then we have import uh, plus uh, import that depends on income so autonomous import plus import that depends on income with that if we distribute through the uh, here the B, we will we will have uh, B Y minus B T prime. So this B multiplied by Y will be B Y. B multiplied by negative T prime will be negative B T prime. And then this B multiplied by because this will be negative negative T Y, it will be negative B T Y plus I prime plus G pl uh, uh, G prime plus. Uh, plus x prime minus m prime minus my. So this, when we distribute the negative, all these will become negative. Then if we collect like terms, so by will cross the equal sign and become negative, minus bty will cross the equal sign and become positive, minus my will cross the equal sign and become positive. And then the rest will be written the way they are. So c prime is here, we see minus bt prime is here, we see plus i prime is here, g prime is here, x prime is here, and m prime is here. So this whole part, remember, is the autonomous expenditure part. And if we factor out y, what we'll have then is that uh, we'll have 1 here minus b, because y will be out, uh, plus bt, y will be out, plus m, y will be out. So this part here is what we remain with after factoring out y 
and this e prime here is the autonomous expenditure which is simply equal to all these uh terms we have and so if we uh we can also write this by factoring out the b so we can see b here and b here so if we do that if we factor out b it means we will remain with b, uh, b out uh, open bracket one minus t the rest remain uh will remain the way they are so you can either pick this or this you still get the same solution and if we divide through by this ratio then what we we'll have is uh, one over one minus b open bracket one minus t close then plus m and this part here remember is now our multiplier so we can put k there so meaning equilibrium income is equal to the multiplier multiplied by the autonomous expenditure and remember now the multiplier here shows the uh, part of uh, imports the marginal propensity to import the tax rate the marginal propensity to consume so when you see this m here you know you are dealing with an open economy okay so i'll take you through an example in the next uh, video uh, where i'll uh, do some computation and calculations on how these terms can be used uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have questions, please send an email to muawelias at gmail.com. I will see you in session 7.